Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There are people losing millions of coins right now in FIFA 23 because of two cards, and that is because of a nation that has not been able to continue in the World Cup because they lost, and you might have guessed it. Yes, it is the path to glory Brazilians, Bruno Guimaraes and Vinny Jr. They are down crazy, crazy, crazy amounts in price because they are no longer live and upgrading cards. This is the biggest gamble when it comes to the market and cards in this game, live cards. And again, this is a really good lesson for us to look at this market movement, whether you were involved in lost coins, whether you made coins on these cards, or whether you didn't even touch them. It's a really good lesson in live cards. But I think with so many people losing so many coins in the past 24 hours, I think it's going to have an impact on the market. And plus, on top of that, EA dropped a really solid promo yesterday with a ton of cards that are kind of changing the meta of this game, I would argue, in a little bit because they're coming out at really solid prices, some weak foot skill move upgrades, and just a lot of cards that I think people on FIFA will want to put into their teams. These foot phenoms cards look really, really good. So I want to take a look at that and, of course, talk more market and talk about why we didn't see those store token packs yesterday, EA. What's up with that? We have a new pack code to look at along with those lines and look forward to today's content on a Saturday. So it's going to be a busy video today. We're going to try to fit it all in. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about literally the craziest price drop off I think I have ever seen in one day on a live card. Bruno Guimaraes is now 200,000 coins, which yesterday, if you would have told me this, I would have obviously been able to say, okay, Brazil lost. But the craziest part about this is it doesn't even show you the true drop off. Bruno Guimaraes was 900K after Neymar scored the goal in extra time. They go up 1 0. It looks like they're going through. He goes up to 900,000 coins. And then all of a sudden, Croatia equalized and they win on penalties. And he goes all the way down to 180,000 coins about two hours after game time. And he's on the rise back up a little bit. So we'll talk about that a little bit. But this card, of course, is down horrendous. And this is just losing people so many coins because this card has a lot less value now that it doesn't get any more upgrades. And its price has been driven extra low by people that are selling the card off because they were investing in it for the price to rise. I'm trying to search up Vinny Jr. for you as well to show you the exact same situation. Now, he's had a, a little bit bigger of a bounce back from his low point. He was down at 1.3 mil, 1.2 million coins, and he's back up at 1.6, but 3.9, he was 4.2 mil when Neymar scored, going down to 1.2 mil. Like, that's a that's a 3 million coin drop off in two hours. That's crazy. So, a lot of people are losing coins in this game, like I said. Now, again, it's a really, really good learning aspect for the path to glory market because we've got more games today, right? I mean, in the early uh, slate today, you've got Bernardo Silva, who is still on the market, I believe, high 900,000 coin range, 960K, 970 for this Bernardo Silva. Of course, they're expected to win, right? They're playing Morocco. They should go through. But this just gives you kind of a taste of reality where if they end up not going through, if Morocco and Buffal pull off the upset, that Bernardo Silva card is going to absolutely go to the bin. So that's what is so, so, so risky with this stuff. And I will say this, with this Bernardo Silva card, I think if you're going to sell this in the hype of the game today, I would sell hours and hours beforehand because we saw this yesterday with the games that were going to be played. Let me even show you the graph right now. Let's look up um, Romero from Argentina because this paints the picture perfectly of what you should do selling these cards. It's not just sell into the hype of the game. It's sell way before the game. He was 238 yesterday in the late night hours. The morning starts. People start thinking about the new Foot Phenoms promo and getting closer to the game. He goes all the way down to 209, right? Get its panic sold off. Uh, same thing with like Kyle Walker. This was before we had the Frim Pong SBC yesterday, which is kind of crazily enough impacting a 700,000 coin right backs price. Kyle Walker was 790. He was all the way down in the low 700s even before the content drop yesterday. And I think that's just people that are selling off before the promo. But specifically for Romero and like Gomez, these cards are getting sold off before their game is played. So if you're trying to sell a Bernardo Silva today, sell early, right? Because these guys will probably drop down even lower into the game. Or if you have an Nkunku, if you have a Kyle Walker, a Grealish, um, a Griezmann, right? These cards that are all playing today, just a quick tip, I would sell these early. I really, really would because, again, people have seen now how crazy the market crashes can be on these live cards if the team does not go through. And when there is some sort of limbo and some risk that's involved in there, 
after seeing what happened yesterday, I think that risk seems a lot more real to people than it did before. And I think that would be the smarter way to take the cash is sell it a little bit earlier rather than later. So that is just the gamble. And again, it's just a really good lesson with these live cards. They were so good to invest in, but if you just held a little bit too long, you kind of get burned. I know some people were like, man, I sold this card two weeks ago at 500K. Aren't you glad you sold now at 500K seeing this Bruno now at 200K? You know, even though it's like, oh, I could have sold it for 800. Well, you sold it for 500, you made your profit and now look where it is. So you kind of have to just have a mindset like that and be able to learn from situations like this. But definitely one of the more crazier things on the market than I have ever seen. Um, now, let's talk about the rest of the market because with this World Cup Phenoms promo, a lot of the market is pretty stagnant. A lot of cards are not moving, which is what I expected because new sick cards are dropping on the game with a lot of really good stats. I think people are going out and selling some cards to their team or um, doing that to type finance if you will, these new cards going out and trying the new ones because EA dropped a banger of a promo. Let's be completely honest. A lot of these cards are big names and they gave some pretty nice upgrades, right? Sokka going from three star, three star um, to getting 91 pace and being four star, four star. There's a new best uh, cheap prem right wing in town, in my opinion, especially with the England hype, their game today, Sokka's first promo card of the year. Looking at this promo team, this is a really, really insane team. So the combination of this team in packs, all of the coins that were lost yesterday, potentially more coins being lost today with whoever wins or loses, whether it's France winning or England winning, I think people are going to lose coins on Path of Glories then too. I don't see this market holding up super duper well over the next couple of weeks after this anyways. We've got that World Cup hero pack, it's in the code. So maybe take this and looking back on Mbappe's graph, I was looking just, just before I recorded the video, we haven't had a real market crash or like any substantial drop in the market for almost like three or four weeks. Like it's been three weeks actually. Like the last time Mbappe dropped down in price was the week before Black Friday, Friday, November 18th, and today's the 10th of December. So. Usually in the middle to the beginning of December as well, we have another dip in the market. We saw it last year. We maybe have winter wild cards still upcoming. So if you have something in your team that is tradable, that you see potentially losing some coins here in the, in the near future, it's not a terrible time with so many coins being pulled off of the market to maybe take the cash on some of that stuff and start to think, a little more untradeable. I know that in this game this year, the market's so crazy that a lot of people just run untradeable teams anyway. And what we've been saying since the beginning of the year is try to not hold too many tradable cards in your team for very long anyway, because it's just a recipe for losing coins. But if there's stuff in your team, like a, a gold Mbappe, maybe a gold Neymar, I, I think that those cards can probably still fall off another 20 to 30% by the time we get to the new year. So just kind of putting that out there, be careful with the way this market looks. There's being coins drained every which way we look. We've got SBCs like the 87 plus mid or base icon that refreshed yesterday. We've got this winter recruits pack, which I hear a lot of people talking about because they think it's good value that you get 20 rare gold players for 37,500 coins, which if you compare that to like a 100K pack, it's like, oh, that's actually not that bad of a deal. Speaking of spending coins for stuff in the store, not only is that pack going to drain people's coins off the market, but we still have those World Cup swap token packs as well. EA just updated the code a couple of hours ago. Foot Scoreboard tweeted this. They literally changed the name of the pack from World Cup Phenoms, plural, to World Cup Phenom. I don't know what else they changed in the pack code, except I see an S here and I don't here, right? New pack code on the left, old pack code on the right, and it's for both packs, right? They changed the S, they took it out. I don't know what's going on here. I thought we were going to see one of those on yesterday. Usually on a promo Friday, we see the store packs um, with the swap tokens in the store, but we didn't. So maybe we'll see it today. Maybe it's going to be throughout the rest of the weekend. I don't entirely know, but I still think that is going to be something that we'll see in the store that could potentially drain some coins as well. So I would just say just a general warning. It's that time again where we probably be a little bit careful about keeping tradable cards in our team, watching their prices, and I wouldn't hold them for a terribly long time because I just think the way the market looks with these new cards and with the content upcoming, I think we could see a bit of a sell-off. So speaking of the content yesterday as well, um, just to look at these promo cards really quick, their fluctuation and just the promo team in general, like we said, insane W promo team. So many cards that have not had promos this year. People are always like, man, EA reused the same players over and over and over. You can count so many cards that are in this promo team 
that have not had a special yet. Militao, Saka, Hakimi, uh, Kamavinga, Kunde, right? Uh, Kubo, I believe. I don't think Kubo's had any other special cards, right? Yeah, well, just the World Cup one. That doesn't really count. So, so many different guys in this team are getting a promo card for the first time. They're Again, nice skill move, weak foot upgrades like Saka going to 4-4. Pedri with the five-star skills. It's a W team. And like we said, it's impacting some of these other cards that are on the market, right? Um, Bruno Fernandes is down. Richarlison is down. Um, some cards from the World Cup stories team are up. Sané and Davies, we'll talk about that in a second. Bundesliga links are up a bit because of the SBC, which surprised me yesterday. yesterday. But look at Rabiot. This was the one thing I was worried about investing in Rabiot is that Genduzi looks very similar to his card. And yes, maybe using both of these guys is super duper OP, but having an alternate option dropped on the game for around the same price, a little bit uh, more expensive Genduzi is here than um, Rabiot, but he just came into packs yesterday. That's what I didn't like about investing in the Rabio card. So I'm glad I didn't buy any of those there. But I think this promo team is sick. And people are going to want to grind upgrade packs on Monday when this comes out. And they're going to want to grind the game this week to get rewards, to get packs to this team. It's a W, right? So I, I applaud EA for that content. Now, also, EA gave us a free pack yesterday, which was kind of cool. It was that, like, winter or something nations pack is what it was called that was a w shout out to ea for a free pack you can never turn that down so that was a part of the content we had this jeremy Frimpong sbc which i looked at right away and i was like okay this card looks decent but i've got quadrado right or i'm running a three back right now so this doesn't super interest me but i think since he was such a big legend at the beginning of this year in fifa with all the pace that he has a lot of people are doing this for Pong. if you take a look at footbin and you look at the upvote downvote on the SBC, there's a lot of upvotes. And he's only 94,000 coins. He's not that expensive. And okay, right? That shows that a lot of people are doing the SBC. Well, what else would show that a lot of people are doing the SBC? Well, you go and take a look at the links. People are buying cards that link to this Frimpong and they are going up. A lot of your most meta Bundesliga cards are going up. Delict from 180 to over 200,000 coins. Same thing with the um, Alfonso Davies, right? And the Sané. These cards going up are a direct correlation to the Frimpong, 1,000%, in my opinion. It's people building out some Bundesliga squads with those Bundesliga links, a couple Bayern links as well, right? 194 all the way to 230, that's absolutely some Frimpong hype. So I was a little taken aback by how much hype the Frimpong had because to me, he just looks really, really pacey. So, you know, take it with what it is. If you want to do the SBC, you can craft it. We'll get upgrades this week. It's out for six days, so you got plenty of time. So that's there in SBCs. I think we're going to get another player SBC today. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then objectives, we had the Jonathan David and the World Cup Phenoms Cup. Again, another one of those cups if you want to grind that. David looks decent, just kind of like the way up from last week. Nothing super insane, but it's also not that hard to grind, so you can't complain too much. So that was our content yesterday. We also had the brand new World Cup icons, which EA messed up price ranges on those um, early on. They were like the dumbest price ranges ever. Like Garincha was between 600k and um, 800k. Like it was like a, such a thin price range. I'd never seen anything like that before in my life, but they got them fixed. They're up on the market now. Um, this team two, I think is better than team one, but also it's still a bit of an L because you have like three good cards in here. Uh, one of which is still extinct. I think Dalglish is still extinct. Yeah. Uh, and then the rest are really cheap. Even Cannavaro. I think I didn't realize how bad Cannavaro's stats were. I didn't realize he only had 67 dribbling. Like, I, I did not, I never realized. Ooh, 170. I'll take that. I mean, he's literally like 180 right now. Sweet. Sweet. We'll take that. But like 67 dribbling, like, <laughs> I don't know if that fits the meta really well. So anyways, a little bit underwhelmed by those cards, except for the top tier. That were dropped yesterday. If there were any of the cards that we saw leaked, like Telemans or um, Rodrigo, we didn't see yesterday, they'll probably be in the mini release. So keep an eye out for those on Sunday, I would imagine, uh, since there were three cards that were leaked that were not dropped. So we'll watch out for that for sure on Sunday. But as for the market with these World Cup Fiat, let's talk trading, let's talk market, because um, yesterday I was able to flip some Bruno, Bruno Guimaraes apps he was dropping. Um, he went from like 800K down to 250 and then back up to about 300. Right around content time, I sold at 300. So I made like, what is it? Like 20, 30K a card on two cards. Um, and then he dropped down to 180. He's right now about 210. I think there's going to be one more dip in price this morning on Saturday. I think he's going to go back down to maybe 200, maybe 190. 
then probably rebound back up again because people are going to be like, okay, a Hullet gang. I mean, he's not just Hullet gang. He's 89 dribbling, 87 physical, 87 passing. I know some people are comparing this to like Wijnaldum. They're saying like, wow, Wijnaldum 70K and this is still 190 or 200K. I think there's a reason. Brazil hype, Premier League hype. Um, this card was super unaffordable and super expensive for most people until now. So I think if you see this guy go to 180, 190 again, it's a decent pickup for your team or maybe an investment. I could see it rising a little bit further just because he's now affordable with the good links that he has. And it's a decently good looking card. So I think there'll be opportunities to trade with this card today. I'm watching some of the phenoms tonight because I think this promo team is so exciting to some people that they're going to want to wake up today with the world cup on, um, and, and still play weekendly. I know that people argue right now about the hype on FIFA and all that good stuff, but I think there's going to be enough hype today to see some of these cards rise up a bit and to see some rises into today on Saturday on the market. Usually your promo uh, card flips from Friday night into Saturday do decently well. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the cards that have fluctuated the most. This Kamavinga, I think, is very expensive, but people seem to like him. 560K for that card. He has been moving all over the market, fluctuating in price a lot. Now, England played today as well. Could that help a guy like Jude Bellingham, who uh, got a really big boosted card in this promo? Could that help him maybe rise up a bit extra today? Potentially. Like, if this goes to 750, I'll probably be in because that's the lowest that he had been yet. Um, Hakimi's card, Militao, I think there will be some good opportunities, even on the low tier, right? Remember last week when uh, Simon Kiar did really well as a as a flip? Watch out for this Tilo Carrer today because this Tilo Carrer is catching a lot of headlines because he has a five-star weak foot center back, medium, medium, albeit, but he's throwing an anchor on this guy. He looks incredible. So the fact that he has 28K, you know, I think people maybe want to wake up today and go try him and their team. I think gold cards would be a good flip today. I'm looking more so towards the lower tier market, apart from maybe some of the brand new promo cards that are pretty rare that people just might want to go out and try it, right? Maybe it's Hakimi, you got a, you got a League One team, needs some PSG links. You know, it looks like he was just 410. Now he's up to about 420 or 430. So it looks like he's on the rise a little bit. But, you know, that sort of thing, trading with these promo cards, I think should do you well today. Just make sure you're in it for the quick flips and don't hold on to them for too long because I would expect their prices to probably still trickle off a bit as we head out of the weekend for sure in terms of those cards. So let's talk about Saturday content today. What am I expecting on the game today? Well, we have three leaked SPCs as of right now uh over the weekend stoichkov world cup icon uh which that might be a w i don't think that'd be today but who knows we've got stoichkov we've got a huan he chan world cup moments sbc this is a dub this is like one of the first times that we've had a live kind of card or a card besides a promo team that we have right now it's like the first card that's recognition of like an insane performance in the world cup right so that's cool um that might be our SBC from today. Foot Sheriff just retweeted this like a couple, like I think it was a couple minutes ago. So maybe he's expecting this to be today on Saturday. The other SBC that we have leaked is a Gonzalo Ramos. So maybe it's going to be a day where we are a week where we have player SBCs like every single day of the weekend and maybe one during the week as well. And also with an upgrade pack. I mean, a lot of people yesterday on the market, I can't talk about market without talking about this. A lot of your World Cup heroes were down bad in price because people were expecting that hero pack to be dropped yesterday and it didn't come, right? So some of these guys rebounded back nicely. So, you know, you see Marquisio here that is, is back down a little bit again, but uh, Rudy Voller was, I think like 730 or 740. He rebounded back up over 800,000 coins. There was a lot of panic on these cards. We've seen it time and time again when SBCs like this get added to the code. Watch out for panic selling on these cards once again today. Might be a good opportunity to trade with them and to flip them. And then like I just did here with the Canavaro, the fact that he is almost 190K. What's with these undercuts, bro? 176? All right, well, maybe I'll list mine up at like 185 or something like that and just take the quick profit of a small bit. But just look out for those quick flips over the weekend. You can definitely grind the market, whether it's trading with the flips, um, trading with the cards that are hyped. Like we said, uh, with the right backs being super hyped um, with the Frimpong, a lot of right backs are actually down a lot in price. Danny Alves is the cheapest he's ever been. Just an hour ago, I saw him at 180. I think he's rising back up a little bit from there, but he's still like he's still like 180. Like this card is down horrendous from where he was. He was like 220 or 250 all week. And now because of one SBC card that drops, 
he is down again. So just remember that we do have a Rodrigo coming out uh, during the mini release. So I know the links to this card are a little bit sus, but the fact that he's down so much and it's the only Danny Alves that we have in the game, that's something to keep an eye on. But also, I do believe that some people think that these cards are live. So be careful with Bruno Guimaraes today because after Brazil lost, the Richarlison of this same World Cup Stories promo card dropped off in price. So if, let's say, Brazil were to lose today, I bet this Bruno would drop off. That's Or if they win, maybe it goes up a little bit. It's crazy, but it happens. It just brings the hype to the nations that are playing in the World Cup. So that's just something to keep an eye out for there with those cards on this game today. And good luck flipping because I, I know I said that the market would probably be falling off, but I'm, I'm not saying it's going to start today. And every time I talk about the market maybe dropping off soon, I never do it with the intent to crash the market by any means, right? I'm never doing that, but I'm just looking ahead in the future and I'm seeing what's happening in this game. And it just seems like one of those cycles where EA is maybe going to start doing some more content. We have three leaked player SBCs. We have a pack in the code for a World Cup hero. That's an SBC a ton of people want to do. Let me talk about fodder. How have I, this always happens. I get to the end of video and then I talk about fodder. Literally one of the easiest ways to make coins in FIFA. Anyways, SBC fodder. Uh, if you stuck around to the end of the video, this is for you. SBC fodder is still a little bit high. It did have a nice fluctuation yesterday. As we talked about, there was opportunity to trade with this stuff because the 87 plus refreshed. So like if you were able to buy Benzema's at like 55K, maybe you got some sales in here at 62 if you timed it perfectly. But fodder is not really down that much. It's down a little bit. Um, but here's what I have to say about the Hero SBC. I think it's coming out on Monday. We'll have to see if EA surprises us. But I think this weekend fodder is going to be invested in by a lot of people. But I think it's a decent investment. And remember last time we had the Max 89 Hero SBC and it was only one squad and it made a lot of the high tier fodder go to the absolute moon this time since there's no rating cap on it i think it's only going to be it's not only going to be one squad i think it's going to be multiple so i don't think we can just look at high rated fodder this time around and say hey that's the fodder we need to buy i think we actually need to look at like 85s because i think they could very easily do another one of those kind of like they did with the icon sbc that's out right now is have an 85 plus requirement in it and that could make that stuff uh, go up. Is there an 85 requirement in this? There's not. There's an 85 squad, but you know, if we get any of those 85 or higher type requirements, I like 84s, 85s, 86s, 87s. Um, and then if the high, high tier stuff does go low enough, yes, it could go up for sure. But hopefully, just hopefully, we see a little bit more drop on that fodder to make it a bit more investable today. So definitely keep an eye out there. Um, and we'll cross our fingers for a little bit more price drop. But, you know, hopefully today in the store, we see those token packs as well. Because I know you guys that really want to get the tokens, really want to see those uh, to complete your swaps or grind. I am two tokens away from the 84 times 20, which I'll be opening up after the mini release comes into packs. That's something I would recommend you guys do as well. But I have talked for long enough. Hopefully you guys have a good Saturday. Hopefully World Cup games today are a treat. And I'll see you guys in the YouTube video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Oh, I forgot to say, if you enjoyed the video, smash thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe if you're new, that good stuff. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.